Here we go, boys and girls and anything else that may be watching. Live eight, Baltimore, Maryland, Major Brothers, live eight. What's up? My name is Tommy Paradise from the Run In Podcast. I am on my way to Bradley International Airport in Hartford, Connecticut to get this show on the road. The show is Friday, June 11th. It is Wednesday, June, I think, 9th. Must be the ninth. I got a quick hour and 20 minute flight, and then we'll be in Baltimore meeting up with Mike Lanham, Phil Gentile, the hot take kid, Kenny from the call up comes in tomorrow afternoon. We're hitting up the Mets game, Mets and Orioles game tonight. Sorry, it's bumpy. I'm jiggling all over the place. Um, hitting up the Mets game tonight. Do a little toy hunting, of course. Phil's going to take us uh, to all the hot spots in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, this is the start, the official start of the blog. Mike's going to be filming his stuff. Phil's going to be filming his stuff. We'll probably film a bunch together. Uh, but yeah, my trip is starting now. I have not flown on a plane since 2019. Me and the wife went to the Dominican Republic to celebrate our 10-year uh, wedding anniversary. This thing is jiggling all over the place. Um, and, uh, that was the last time I flew. So, uh, I, to say I'm nervous. Yeah. A little nervous, a little anxious. I, I'd say is the right word. Anxious, anxious is the right word. So maybe we'll have a couple pops up in the airport. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, uh, about a 20 minute drive down to Bradley international airport here, uh, from where I live and then uh hour and 20 minute flight or so. Uh, and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit here. Uh, we're all going to be vlogging. It's going to be a great time. These live shows, say what you will about the Major Brothers. I know they're not everybody's uh, cup of tea. These live shows are a lot of fun. They uh, always, they're, 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 uh, they keep saying there's there's going to be awesome guests, awesome guests. You're not going to want to miss this. You're not going to want to miss it. Now, keep in mind that Jeff Jarrett is there film, uh, doing a little live podcast at Jimmy's Famous Seafood uh, this weekend. The Good Brothers are there doing a uh, uh Live podcast, Talking Shop Mania. Uh, Conrad Thompson, will be, I'm assuming all these guys are going to be jumping into the Major Brothers uh, show and maybe a little meet and greet action with, uh, with with them. So looking forward to it. Hoping for Jeff Jarrett, to be honest with you. One of my buddies said last night, who the fuck likes Jeff Jarrett? I like Jeff Jarrett. All right, folks. It's time for me to drive and get ready to get on a plane. I'll check in with you guys here in, uh, again in just a little bit. What up, guys? It is 7 a.m. on Wednesday morning. I am headed to Nashville, Tennessee. It's about a two-hour drive. Going to jump on a plane and then meet Tommy Paradise at the airport and then meet up with Phil Gentile. Uh, let's get going. <laughs> International Airport. It's eerily quiet in here. Uh, just waiting at my gate. I had some Papa Gino's pizza. Uh, excited for this uh, for this trip, man. Like I said on the, the ride down here, um, haven't flown in a while. I was saying to my wife on the way here, I haven't flown by myself in a long time, which is crazy to think about. But uh, you know what's funny is I live here. Hartford Whalers are a big thing here. In the airport, all I kept looking at in the stores was the Hartford Whalers merchandise. It's so weird. I live in Har I, li I live in Connecticut. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, a funny story that we were talking about in our group chat here. Sound off in the comments below. When you travel, are you a early person to the airport or are you last minute? I am definitely an early person. I get all kinds of stressed out trying to get to the airport on time. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong, that kind of deal. <clears throat> It, my flight's not till uh, 120. It is 1130 and I've been here for probably 15, 20 minutes already in the actual gate area. Made it through security real quick because <clears throat> there's nobody here. Uh, it's weird. It's so weird. There's like nobody here. This is crazy. Uh, but yeah, sound off in the comments if you are a 
if you get to the airport super early, like me, you know, have an airport beer. The airport beers hit differently. Um, grab some food. That's what I did. I grabbed some Papagino's Pizza, which is a, a New England favorite. But they're all uh, they're all closing around here. Around here, they're big up near Boston. It's the best fast food pizza you can get. Best fast food pizza you can get. <clears throat> I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If you've ever been to New England, fast food pizza like it's on that same level as like uh, Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa John's, that stuff. It's uh, it's good shit. Um, but yeah, just sitting here chilling. Probably gonna listen to the Major Brothers podcast for a little bit while I'm uh, waiting for my flight. And uh, you got about an hour before uh, before we board and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna hang out, lay low, and uh, enjoy some quiet time. So uh, we'll check in again here in a little bit. Just landed in Baltimore. I'm in BWI walking to the baggage claim, even though I'm all carry on. Why check bags if you have if you don't have to? Anyway, pretty quick flight from uh, Hartford to BWI. Weird situation on the plane where we had to sit on the tarmac for a little while and wait, but but I'm here. Walking through the airport, gotta find Mike and Phil. So, Mike's already landed. Gonna uh, meet up with them. Go pick up Phil's little kid from school, do some fake hunts, and then go to the Orioles game. Let's go. All right, so I'm here. Walking, I just got out of the airport. It's fucking loud as fuck down here. Phil is in location 26. So you see they got these, my airport doesn't have this. This is crazy, these location numbers. It's a good idea. We don't have these in Hartford, man. So Mike and uh, Phil are already out there. Coming up on uh, them, although it looks like Phil might have gotten blocked in here. Losing my bag, my heads are falling off. See, I think that's his, uh, his little Honda CRV there. Oh yeah, the fucking shitty Raven sticker on it. Look at this. We got this Phil, Mike, right saying this is where champions play. Oh, almost getting hit by a bus here. That's not where the Patriots play. All right, so we're here in Baltimore. They've got a statue of a murderer. <laughs> They're paying tribute to a murderer. Not guilty. Right over there. Where is it? Is that? Nope, it's the other one. I'm bad at this. Right there. They're paying tribute to a murderer. Can't believe it. All right, guys. That Camden Yards. Gotta get something with crabs, right? Crab chips. We talk a lot about our food on the podcast. Let's give these bad boys a, uh, a try. Phil's holding the camera. Phil, have you had these? I have. I've eaten quite a few of them. All right, let's see what we got here. Good. All right. Real good. Okay, good. I like them. You have Hudson back home? 
We do. Okay. But not the crab ones. No, that's not special. Yes. Yeah. Say eight yeah. out of ten. Eight, eight out, out of ten. ten. On the crab chips. Mike Lanham here. What's up, everybody? No. <laughs> no, no. Our pass. Our pass on the crab chips. All right, we're in the room here. Eight out of ten. Love it. Go Orioles. Go Expos. Games. All right, the Orioles suck. What's the score, Mike? 14 to 1. We left early because the uh, Mets were having home run derby. So we decided to do a little target stop. Every Walmart or, uh, target is like the same layout. Yeah. Got an aisle right here with the cars. Yep. Straight back electronics. Yep. No. All right, let's see what we got here, fellas. Three cannons. <laughs> Just say you've never four, been to this store? Four John Cena's. Uh, I mean, it's probably been about a year since I've been here. Never done this one. Twelve Vaders. Probably two Vaders. We have Battle Pack. No. Nice Battle Pack. I thought you didn't have Vader. Had Cena. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to speed this up. There we go. Hot China's. Ooh, let's see. A lot of nothing, guys. Hey, you haven't looked yet, man. Cena? Or door. I said there'd be four. Edge Ultimate. China, China, China. Oh. Edge Ultimate down there. Dropping right stuff. Too. I haven't seen any Macho Ultimates. I've seen a lot of Edge Ultimates. I've seen the Edge and the... Uh, uh, both of them. Humberto? Oh, is this Elite? Is this hard to find? Somebody got a little hungry. What is that? Elite Squad Trooper? Um, I'm not sure to be honest with you. Those are from the new, uh, the new cartoon on, uh, Disney Plus. Bad bitches. Bad bitches. <laughs> oh, you need Battle Cat? Oh, Panthor. Not even Battle Cat. Yeah, those are the, uh, Jurassic Park set I was talking about. Oh, I didn't do The that. six I've inch figures. These are Mattel too. Ian Malcolm. John Raymond Arnold. I'm doing a terrible job of filming this. Are these the only two out right now? These things are very tempting, these things. I'm going to wander over here real quick to NECA. Damn, nothing. White men can't jump two pack. I haven't seen that before. Muddy Ducks Pops. Just got these for my kid off Amazon. That's it. I think we're going to hit another store. I think uh, there's still a Walmart open. All right, guys, we're gonna hit another Walmart. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, we're having inventory oh. though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All basics. Bunch of basic bitches. <laughs> Dude, I'm those are, I don't know how I didn't break that. Still, it's a good, it's a good people might want this. People might want this. Uh -huh. I, I, I bought this, that. I want to post this in the Fig Cave group, which is free to enter. Fig so. Cave, thefigcave.com. Yeah. Gonna see a oh, we should get this for DJ. Oh. Oh, jeez, man. Let's take a look at the back. Oh. I think she's in blue. They really slowed down with these, huh? These masters. Like, yeah. Have they done anything lately? Like they announced them in the uh, the WrestleMania thing that they did, but this is new. Like the Austin Theory. Is this the Shawn Michaels line? No. The bald Shawn Michaels. All right. No Joes. No Marvel. Nothing. Huh? Nothing. They're the inventory. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna realize how much stuff. I can tell you what their inventory is. <laughs> Nothing. Look up there. More basics down here. Buys, buys what? They're nice, but I actually I bought those are McFar McFarland I mean, makes those now. Beautiful. I bought a couple. They feel heavy too. I got like the Superman, the uh, Joker, 
and Harley Quinn, but that's it. Damn, they didn't have the Ghostbusters. <laughs> I turned the camera off, and there, you guys missed like a Walmart employee parade, and then we found the Dumb and Dumber Pops, and these Pops for $4. $4. I'm grabbing these for myself. I think I'm gonna grab that one for my kid too, because he, he uh, likes the wrestler Marvel ones. But just want you guys to know, look at <coughs> the parade is still going on. All right, guys, we are at a toy store. Where are we, Phil? Uh, this is Random Treasures. Random the Treasures. I thought that was the store next door, but that's actually Subway next door. Oh, you know what? I need my mask. You edit those out, right? Yeah, oh yeah. You know what? Wait, you know what editing is? Collar and Elbow, use code K for 10% off. Collar and Elbow .com. Brand oh, this oh, place yeah. looks like it might be good. They got a WrestleMania 6 poster on the door. Oh, watch out for the cicada. Look at this place. Look at these McDonald's glasses over here. They got these old McDonald's glasses over here. There you go. They got Junkyard Dog over there. Look at all this Masters of the Universe, Transformers. This place is... I said I wanted to make a big boy purchase today, or this weekend, while we're here. Oh, I see Hasbro's. LJN's. Moves, retros, oh baby, I actually need Mr. Perfect, that might be happening, <laughs> look at these prototypes, oh it's a custom, custom yeah. Still. look at that Hulk Hogan frisbee, I just want to say, this place is unreal, Phil this is a good place, so much stuff, classifieds, Video games. I don't want to record anything. I want to shop. <laughs> Who's Lucy? What junkyard dog in here now? Remco's. Oh, you know what I need actually is a Ric Flair. I need a Ric Flair car. So much Goldberg stuff. Nobody wants. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is that? That's me. PVC? Those are cool. It must be worth. If you met them, you get them. 10 bucks? Beefcake. Boss Man. The Flair Hasbro gets no love. <laughs> Kevin Sullivan, WCW. Oh, baby. Hasbro ring. Some ring giants. Little nature boy. What is this? Hulk Hogan. This is the best three pack ever. <laughs> oh, do you know <laughs> I think some of those guys are coming back to second. He's gonna puke. Holy smokes, this place is awesome. Oh, look this All right, guys, I'm gonna turn off the camera for a little bit and uh, 
we're gonna i'm gonna shop we're still here all the star wars stuff this place is unbelievable pretty cool stuff up in here this is like all mixed stuff ufc gi joe some marvel stuff Power Rangers. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing good. Another major mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. You're welcome. All right, boys and girls that are watching this, I'm sitting bitch in Phil's car, <laughs> but uh, we just left uh, Random Treasures. I got Million Dollar Man Hasbro. Oh, I got. Show what I got. Phil got uh, Goldar. He's a big Power Rangers guy. Is that his name? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Repul Repulsa or something. No, that's uh, is the chick. Oh. And then I got Mr. Perfect Hasbro. <laughs> Funny story about these. Uh, I think I might already have these, but I had to pull a broski, pull a Zack Ryder, and buy them anyway because the prices were so good and I wasn't 100% sure if uh, I had them or not. So uh, bought them. I tried to get my wife to check my collection and she lol'd me and face palmed emojied me so and then left the house so I took a gamble look at Phil's fucking trunk back here hey man what are you a liquor salesman or something I'm embarrassed by that <laughs> so it's crazy getting ready now heading over to meet the guys for a live eight um, this is filming my part uh, I had a shit show at the car rental uh, finally got my car and now I'm on the road and there is nothing but traffic the whole way. Yeah. Story of my fucking life. Enjoy. Another day, another target. Uh, where are we, Phil? Uh, do, do people care where we are? People I don't know. They might, they might come there. Um, yeah, got to fill in the space, man. White Marsh. White Marsh, Maryland. Sounds <laughs> like <laughs> we just hit that vi vintage sensual dreams store nope. <laughs> i left what was the actual name of that place You're combining three stores hidden together. treasures random random <laughs> treasures i left a random treasure in their toilet <laughs> i hope they watch this i hope they it wasn't random. honestly it was a very nice store this is not a good sign <laughs> these aisles look terrible yeah. we're having a good time talking about trying the new burger king chicken sandwich for lunch do a little taste test Hey, look, everything yeah, else. Nah. My kid wants those for his trampoline. Oh, dude, see if it's on sale. I still say they missed out on a huge marketing opportunity with this figure where they should have made the back clear yeah. as well. So oh, you could yeah. see how thick with yeah. two C's she is. All the same shit as the same target we went to last night. Nothing I need. Any uh, GI Joes? They're really pushing the Jurassic Park stuff. No GI Joes. Oh, no, two oh major bloods. two major bloods. Who needs major blood? Although this is a vlog that'll be up weeks after we were actually here, so I can't help anybody out. But look at look at Phil, man of the people. He's posting those to the Fig Cave right now. You can join at thefigcave.com and uh, seeing if anybody needs those. I love these, these Marvel retros. It's cool, guys. I'm not talking to you. Sorry. These, I those love are, these. Those are cool. The card back is dope on them. Yeah, they're worth 20 bucks. No, they're 12, 12.99, 9.99. Oh, wow. Another store, this is a store actually me, Phil took me to last time I was here, in November. It's uh, Lost in Time, Vintage Toy Store. It's a good spot. Do uh, you, you guys hear that buzzing? Those are fucking bugs here in, uh, yeah, you hear that? Fucking bugs here in uh, Maryland. So we're gonna go do some more vintage toy shopping. All right, guys. I start every video with, all right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. Every segment says, all right, guys. Anyway, what was the name of this place we just left? That was Lost in Time Toys. Lost in Time Toys. We went there to last time I was down here 
for the Major Brothers uh, podcast deal. I said I was going to spend some money on this trip, and I got something I've been looking for for quite a bit. Not me, not me. Where is it? The other way. There it is. I got the Talking Ultimate Warrior. I did not pay the sticker price that's on there. I didn't pay any of the sticker prices. I did not pay twenty nine ninety nine. I did not pay seven ninety seven or dollar ninety seven or one hundred and twenty five. I, I talked to our good friend Marty down. I'm not going to disclose what I paid, but uh, picked up a Grail item on this trip. Fuck yeah, let's go. Now we're at Target. Probably not going to find anything, but hey, we're, 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 we're going in. And then we're doing a Burger King taste test of the chicken sandwich. All right, we found a Target that has some different stuff. We got Macho Man Ultimate. I haven't seen this in a while. Get a hammer. That's a great figure. That's like such an underrated figure, I feel like. That's what Vader. Has in the jacket this week. Yeah, putting some bedazzles on it. It's 37. That's crazy. Same basics. Who's the thing with this one in this series, right? No Star Wars. Panthor? Yeah. Wow. It's funny every time. <laughs> South, uh, I almost said South Park. Jurassic Park? <laughs> no G.I. Joes. No, no, no. No G.I. Joes unless they're on the other. Yeah, they definitely had on this one. Because when I saw him, I go, the six inch ones? Yeah. They had in your store? Yeah. Uh, he's got a lot. When, I, when I saw the dinosaur, I was like, we had these, the Amber ones. I don't Yeah, I didn't. All right, guys. Again, starting with the all right, guys. We're at Burger King. No toy hunt. Burger King. To try the Chick King sandwich. All right. Moment of truth. I picked it. First thing I thought when I picked it up was, damn, this is heavy. It's hot. It's oh, hot. All right. Oh, so they just came out super hot. So smoking. Mike's dying over here. Hot. We, we're all eating healthy after this weekend. <laughs> oh, I can feel the heat coming off of it. Oh, God. Stop this video. Too hot? All right. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll let him cool down a little bit. All right. We're, we're, we're back being little girls about uh, it being too hot. I've taken one bite. This, this thing's no joke. So far, we're talking about how it's very different than uh, than Chick Fil A. Uh, it's up there with Popeyes, I'd say. So far, after one bite, I'm gonna go this way. I like this little this, this, chunk, this little chunk here of crispiness. Tell him, Tom, I'll lose little points. I'll get some pickles. Oh, that's pretty good. This is good. This is. I haven't been to Burger King in years. Boys, this was a good decision. Yeah. This is super good. Alright, 1 through 10. Uh, 7.3. He said come back to him. I'm going. I'm going 8. I'm going right up there with Popeyes. This is on the same level as Popeyes. Popeyes is the best for me. Popeyes is number one. I think so much Chick-fil-A that it, when it doesn't taste like that, it's hard to compare it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven and one. Okay. Seven and one. It's hot chicken. I almost want to try the spicy at some point to see yeah. how yeah, that compares. Oh yeah, really a lot of juice. Yep. I made mean, it huge. A lot of time. I like I'm the sauce that's on, on it. I like the sauce that's on it. Doesn't feel greasy. Right. Does it? Yeah. It doesn't feel too heavy. What about the bun? We didn't talk about the bun. It's a bun. It's a bun. It's nothing. You know. It's not the buttery bun from the top Very, uh, very respectable chicken sandwich here. It's better than the old chicken, like the long chicken <laughs> sandwich that they used to have with the, basically just chicken paste and breading. And then they give you for like a dollar. Yeah. I'm gonna read this later. But, uh, yeah, check it out, the Mick. Oh, it's not the Mick anymore. Oh, don't say that. Man. The Chick King sandwich, Burger King. They didn't pay for any of this. And this is, Super good, super respectable chicken sandwich here. Attorney of Dreams. We're here, we made it. We're here. Oh, guys mowing the lawn, right? While you're trying to yeah, those aren't bugs. That's actually somebody mowing the lawn. Smoking a cigarette at a church. Giving zero fucks about Christ. Yeah, we gotta get in here. the best toy store in Maryland, let's say right now. Oh, let's see what they got. So I'm still on the road. Still in Jersey right now. Uh, 
heading to Lati, meeting up with the uh, the rest of the guys from um, the running pod right now. Trying to keep focus, but still at the same time trying to uh, document this stuff because it is a long drive, especially if you're doing this in the afternoon. Uh, the morning time, not so much because you can get there very quickly. But right now, I am trying to get there. I am stuck with all these trucks that are trying to go home right now. It's telling them I'm not going to get to Maryland until about close to 8 o'clock. Yeah, I'm regretting driving, but whatever. Playing some Jim Cornette right now it should keep me uh, entertained until I get there. If not, then I'll put some music. But uh, yeah, hopefully the next time you guys see me, I'll be at uh, the hotel. Uh, meeting up with the guys, and that'll be the next time you'll uh, get the next caption. Later. All right, guys, this is just one of the aisles in Attorney of Dreams. It's insane. Hey, Phil. Hey, Tom. Phil's Hold live on. in the Fig Cave. I'm live on FigCave.com. Oh, Instagram, sorry. Video games. Oh, shit, the arena football game? I remember that. Good Lord, this place is amazing. Stop. Look at all this Star Wars stuff. More Star Wars. Turtles. Transformers, baby. This place is legit if you're in... Uh... Phil, what part of Maryland are we in? I don't know what he said. But... Pantytown. I got the turtles. The new turtles, old turtles. Look at that old Daxter Stockman. This is so cool. The NECA turtles. What's the prices on these actually? 85. So it marked up a little bit, but you know, their, their kids got to eat. Crazy stuff in here, some awesome stuff. I'll show you guys the craziest thing in a minute. Not this Power of the Force stuff, although look at all this Power of the Force stuff. But holy crap, here's the wrestling aisle. Good lord, we're gonna have some fun going through that. Master of the Universe WWE stuff. An original Hasbro ring. I've already spent a lot of money this weekend. Holy shit, the Simpsons, Marvel. This place is in. Incredible, guys. Incredible. What I really wanted to show you. Look at those Simpsons. I love those Simpsons figures. Should have got those instead of the Pops. Marvel uh, Marvel Retros I've been talking about. Some Sega Genesis stuff. Masters of the Universe over here. Jesus, Masters of the Universe? Look at all these Castle Grey Skulls. Holy smokes. Snake Mountain. Wow. Guys, if you're in this area, this is like, this video is not doing this justice. This might be the uh, the best store we've been to. Oh, anybody need a million dollar man? Not the chase though. Kane's coming to a signing near me. I might snag that for that. Oh my God, and there's more stuff back here. Holy smokes. Uh, Independence Day, The X-Files, Predator, Aliens, Hot Wheels. Good Lord. This place is like a small house. Uh, building wise, and this is like, they fit all this stuff into it. It's incredible. Incredible. I don't know what any of this is. That's erotic, sexual, and violent. Spawn. Good Lord. Good Lord. All right. So the one thing I wanted to show you guys. Pops. Of course they got Pops. Pops are way up in the front. Look at that Hollywood Hulk Hogan thing. Might have to ask about that. Phil's dropping oh, himself, no. throwing shit on the floor. Tom, why did you do that? Hey, while you're down there. Why did you do that, man? 
All right, I'm gonna do some editing. Look at that one's signed by Todd McFarlane. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't remember. I might need this, but I don't remember which one I have. This is a Tom, a Tom moment here with the with your. Uh, it happened to both place. of us, man. Do you have this? I just bought it from somebody for twenty five bucks. It's fifteen. Good prices here. Some Lucy's. Holy shit! Stop. I'm gonna bring all my stuff home in that. This is unreal, guys. I want to stop editing so I can. Somebody go to my house to see if I have this. Text your wife like I did. Well, I texted my wife, not his wife, guys. I don't know if you get how good you, uh, this video is coming out because I keep just looking at stuff and not looking at the video. I remember this honky tonk man coming out and it being like super short. Berserker on card. All right. Let me show you guys. Yep. Crazy. We're in the middle of putting that together. They told us tons of GI Joe. We're in the middle of uh, finishing that. Tons of GI Joe. Tons of everything. All right, I'm going to shop. Let's do this. We'll put, oh my God, crash test dummies. Wow, good shit here. LJNs, more Lucy's. Even more Lucy's, I think is where I started. So I'm gonna go shop and uh, we'll post a video. Uh, we'll do a update video when we get done in here. Handicap. Like, oh boy, handicap. Phil's talking shit about the handicap. Not We're rolling backwards. Phil's people. finding a parking spot. All kinds of Attorney of Dreams was amazing. I got Big Boss Man Hasbro with the nightstick. I got Barney. I said this is like a perfect little like uh, desk ornament. Uh, Phil got a bunch of bullshit too. He got uh, Kurt Angler. He got a couple Joe GI Joes. Mike Landham got a Funko Pop of Kane. Bog out. Oh, he's going to... Look at this. Phil's going to open the door for me. Oh. And we're at another Target. And then we're going to go eat some Jimmy's Famous Seafood a little bit early with Kenny. Stay tuned. I know you're going to stay tuned because it's a vlog and you just keep watching it until it's over. All right, guys. All right, guys. We'll see you later. We need shirts that say, all right, guys. And hey, hey, what do you say? I don't know, like, go fig hunt. <laughs> Film it. We gotta tell Kenny to go fig hunt because we're fig hunting here, obviously. Kenny we'll just told us he's got uh, five minutes. He's five minutes away. Phil asked me about these, the last Target off camera, these Space Jam toys. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Let's see what we got on the other side here. Any major blood? Blood. Look at this. Dude, these are gonna peg warm for months. Yeah, nobody's even seen the movie. This is the coolest character. Death I'm excited, Dealer. I'm excited to go see this movie with my kid. I think yeah. he's gonna like it a lot. Oh, I love these retros. Love them. I know I say that every time I see them, but. All right, guys. We're gonna go meet Kenny for real this time. <laughs> All right, so we're waiting for Zach to come with our hip hop chicken and fish. We're almost, uh, we're 53 minutes late on when it was promised to us. <laughs> Poor guy. So Phil's wife, the beautiful Christina, has made Phil try pina colada hummus. Live taste reaction. <laughs> she found it on an Instagram page. No, we did. No, oh, you did. Oh, my bad, my bad. I found it at Aldi. Phil's 50-50 on hummus, and he doesn't like anything Kenny's pina colada. He said, Kenny's trying, too. It's not terrible. This is good. Uh oh! Anyway, so. <laughs> it, it, it does have a good balance with the saltiness of the pretzel and the sweetness. It's not bad, right? But I would rather prefer a different flavor. Have chocolate hummus too. No, there's too much hummus in this. <laughs> I wonder if they have this in, the hummus 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 in New York. You want them to have it in New York? Uh, hopefully. I'm, a, I'm actually going to check now. Yeah? Do you like it? Do they have Aldi in New York? Which one? Do they have Aldi in New York? Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. 
So Phil hates it. That's Kenny all likes I love it. it. I Final answer. I don't hate it. It's not terrible. Christina's buying it every time she goes to Aldi. This, this tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm not going to say all right, guys. YouTube sent a video or an email today saying don't start your videos out with you guys. Anyway, hey ladies, we're, uh, we just finished up eating some hip hop chicken with Zach. I'll put a picture of that chicken right here in the video. It was wicked good. You may remember us talking about the uh, hip hop chicken in our March Madness bracket. They, uh, I forget who they upset in the first round, but uh, it's a rainy shitty day here in Maryland. I think it's Catonsville. We're in Catonsville. I think it's my fault. You think it's your fault that yeah, it's raining? Every time I go out of town, it always rains. Kenny's finally here with us. He met up with us last night. Went to Jimmy's for some uh, famous seafood. Going to Jimmy's tonight for the show. And now we're going to hit Walmart. Yep, we made friends with some major marks. Right. And uh, Somebody actually watches my show. I was so happy about that when he said it. <laughs> That's right. Kenny got recognized. We did not. We did not get recognized. Oh, well. Uh, about to start a, um, about to be on cameo soon. <laughs> <laughs> he can't recognize like that. So it's starting to start a couple of meet and greets. He's got kids, you know. Yeah, All right, we're gonna go do a toy hunt inside this Walmart. The hip hop chicken was amazing. Zach did not lie to us. It was wicked good. Uh, we're gonna do a toy hunt. This is not looking good to start. These are probably the same go real Ghostbusters that were here. Uh... Yo, shut up. <laughs> that scares the shit out That's... of me all the time. Oh, they got the uh, Marvel Retros down there. Hiding, it? chilling out. Oh, they got Loki. That's not the new Loki, though, I don't think. Is it? No. I think this is the old Loki. Oh, no, this is new. This is from yeah. the uh, Disney Plus series. All right, all right, plus one there. No elites. They do have the ultimate warrior. Mass, ooh. All right, I'm gonna get that cane. And hopefully get it signed in November. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, basics and battle packs and shit there. Party. No elites though. Party, not, not a single one. A lot of Jeff Hardy's. What are AEW rings? No AEW belts. Oh, yeah. That's weird. It's, this could have been one of those $3 Walmarts. <laughs> Clearance those things out. Oh, that's it. I'm going to grab this, I think, anyway. Zach, you need that? All right. I told Tom, Tommy Paradise, I would record something. I'm not an energy drink guy. But I'm gonna need it today. It's been a long but good week so far. Uh, we got Tom from the Running Podcast. We got Kenny from the Call Up. We got our buddy Mike Lanham in town. We got a special appearance by uh, Zach Egolf. It's been a great couple days. Uh, it was funny. We went to Jimmy's Seafood last night, and uh, the girl was the bartender was like, "How do you guys know everybody?" And I was like, "We met on the internet," uh, which sounds weird, but uh, it's you know. I seriously talked to those three guys, those four guys, more than uh, most of my real life friends that live around here. So um, going, to, going to Jimmy's Famous Seafood right now, going to hang out with the boys, going to eat some good food, going to talk wrestling. Uh, we'll see what kind of surprises, maybe maybe Double J Jeff Jarrett's going to be there, maybe a little Heath Slater, maybe Hornswoggle, we don't know, but uh, we went to the show back in November, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I met a lot of cool folks at Jimmy's last night that are in the uh, the Major Brothers group. So, uh, yeah, good times. And, um, Tom, hopefully you, you put this in the uh, YouTube video because uh, I told you I was going to contribute. Here it is. I'm not bare minimum anymore, baby. Let's go. Let's go to Jimmy's. Now, cut cut to uh, – Tom, I want you to cut this right, and then we're going to be in line hanging out with some music behind it. <laughs>
Ooh, baby. It's like uh, seven in the morning, Saturday. We're headed to the airport. Everybody's tired. <laughs> Everybody's tired. I feel like that chick that should have just went home. I'm still wearing the same clothes from yesterday. Walk of shame for Kenny. Walk of shame. Great show last night from the Major Brothers. Great trip. Uh, me and Mike are about to jump on a plane to separate, not the same plane, separate places. But uh, Kenny's got a long drive home. But uh, what'd you say? Never again. <laughs> Kenny's got like all kinds of stuff to do when he gets home. Cooking, baptism, or no, communion, right? Yeah. Communion. Um, but uh, obviously, as you guys saw in the videos that I took, great show. Jeff Jarrett, got to meet him. I was pumped for that. Uh, great to meet some of the major marks. And uh, yeah, we're about to travel home. Summer's Connecticut, I'm coming for you. <laughs>